Hello, my name is Adrian Wetfield from IBM Rational Software and joining me is Dr. Graham Bleakley. Welcome to the Rational Rhapsody UPDM product demonstration. Now, UPDM stands for a unified profile for DODAF and MODAF. The aim, of course, with UPDM is to create a industry standard approach for military frameworks. This demonstration gives an overview of the UPDM and how you can use Rational Rhapsody to create the various UPDM views. The demonstration is split into two parts and this is the second part where we cover the system and technical views. If you've not had an opportunity to look at the first part, I do recommend and encourage you to do so. In the first part, we cover the AV, or all view, strategic, operational, and service-orientated views. So, let's get started with part two, where we begin by looking at the system views. Remember, the tool that you are seeing is Rational Rhapsody, where all the UPDM artifacts are held within the tool. So, it's time now to hand you over to Graham. So, where are we starting from this? Um, what we have here is our SV1, which is our physical implementation of um, the recovery. Um, so what we have is a capability configuration, which we're calling recovery configuration, which consists of our commander, our FRED commander, um, some equipment, which is going to carry out our communications, which in this instance is a PRC-3554, which is defined in our AV2 as a form of Bowman, okay? uh, which is a, uh, a radio or communication system used in the UK. So, go back to my fridge recovery. It shows you the relationships between uh, the commander driver and crane operator, the systems that they're, they're involved with, and also how it interacts in with uh, the organization um, within the, the light armor detachment and how the commander talks to the comms officer. A big part of uh, MODAF, um, and it's also coming into DODAF 2.0, is the ability to add people into your system now because they realise that they're part of the what is known as the capability configuration in this instance. So this is the recovery configuration. And you can also start to see that we've got some ports on here, and these are service points. And what they, these are doing is they're saying that they both require the decryption and uh, the decryption and, and encryption services from the coding uh, from the services. Okay. So system port connectivity. This is really showing us our network. It's a very simple network. Um, what we have here are our encryption, or sorry, our PRC-354, which is in the recovery equipment, and our HCDR, which is in our uh, light armor detachment, both communicating with a, a network, and they're both requiring the encryption services Crypt and decrypt, which exist as software on that network. Okay. And it also links in the, the various protocols that are being used on, on the model. Okay, so HTTP, I think, is being used on Comzim 1 and GSW, which is this one here. And STMP is being used on Comzim XXX and Comzim GW2, the Gateway 2. So the recovery uh, functional description is captured as an activity diagram. So this is a, again a mapping of activities. We're also showing the services, how they're being used in, in this functional flow through the model, through the operation. And there is also this mapping between operational activities 
sorry, operational activities going across the top, and also um, the functions that exist within the service view. And again, this is this is done by the performance relationship. And as I said before, what you can do is you can add new relations to this or delete relations actually on the model. Now, derived from all this information, a large number of a large amount of information is actually derived from this. So, from this, we get out a service interactions. So it tells you what's communicating with what. Um, data exchange table. Um, again, this is one of the, the key things that's come out of um, perhaps D7.5 is the use of ports and being able to extract information on ports and the flow items that are going between elements. Okay, again, there's a number of tags that are associated with these in terms of the realizing connector and actual measurements, which can be populated. Uh, they define the performance of the various networks and the various lines of command. So, finally, our services resources permission, or sorry, provisions, which is the SV12. And really what this does is it ties our services to our uh, resources and tells us which which resources are providing or requiring a particular service. So in this instance, the GSAT is actually providing the, the Cypher service, um, and it contains encoding and decoding, which are the encrypt, encrypt. And also we've got the PRC354 and HCDR, which are requiring those services. <coughs> 